Well, welcome back, everyone, as we go into another set. And it's going to be maybe a little confusing for those of you who typically watch because we're going to stay in the same region on the same console as we kind of move. You've got Cyclone and Bust Down, and then you've got Radiant and Viral. But to go through this one with me, it's going to be Evan. Hey. Staying on the desk throughout the EU Xbox scene so far. Yes. And that one, I mean, we just went five games, and I think if there's any other set today that could go five games, might it be, might be might this one. Might be this one. one, yeah. Except I do have one... One thing to say about Viral, and that is that I, I think, if I'm looking at this correctly, they have not won a single map over these, what, wow. eight, nine, ten weeks of play. Wow. So a lot that has been going wow. through Viral have not been Opportunity. as successful as they would want. Opportunity now. Let's hope for that. There it is. There's always a, a, another chance to win a map yeah. coming up, you know? Maybe you know, maybe it's, it's here, maybe it's not. I'm not going to um, bet heavily. I wouldn't bet my life that they would win a map today, but I will say that there's a chance, and it's a better chance that they're playing Cyclone or Bust Down, I'll tell you that. You know, I will say, last week we came in and we were saying the same thing uh, about Stush when it came down to it, because Stush was in that area where yeah. it was just like, they had not they had won a single map and was against Flashpoint, but other than that, they had lost everything, and then they won a set. So we have to see True. how this one goes. Radiant And they look is, good today. Uh, Radiant's in a pretty interesting position, though, because, again, they're that third-place team. Their wins, I believe, are both over viral right now, so that's where things are going to look strong for them. Yeah. And they've had probably a couple jumbled players come through. Sheik was a name that actually came into my mind uh, earlier when looking at him because he kind of came out of nowhere and fit in pretty well. Good name, too. I'm going to shout that out. Sometimes these my, my console friends, they go a little Are overboard with the names. that you don't names. like the name Taco Bell they, Wife? <laughs> <laughs> they go a little overboard with the names. So it's just uh, you, I'm not calling anybody out. Um, but <clears> I will <throat> say Sheik, nice name, a little unique spelling, but not hard to remember. Very, very solid. And his play matches. Good yeah. stuff on the Leon. I mean, if he can keep consistent, it's going to be a huge boon for Radiant Esports. But we'll have to see today. These two teams, uh, hard to analyze because... They still have so much to prove, and one of the best ways to show kind of your talent is to match up against a team that's also struggling a little bit and really distinguish yourselves amongst, uh, you know, in that regard, and then start moving yeah. up the ladder. Well, this is going to be one of those areas. We're going to look at the maps. Shatter Desert, Serpent Beach, Splitstone Quarry, and Warder's Gate all banned away here. Mm. We're going to be going to Jaguar Falls, which I'm going to go ahead and say the wins that you see out of Radiant are kind of going to be on, well, more standard maps. Frog Isle, Jag Falls are kind of some of the top two, so expect them to do well here. And again, Viral. Yeah. This is actually, I think, the map in recent memory where they've done well. They always find four threes, or they've been starting to find four threes. Unfortunately for them, they're always the three. Yeah. By the way, I had a thought off topic that the ocean shot or the Lake Lanier shot was so good for Frog Isle. I'm thinking we need to send somebody from production to a jungle for the Jaguar Falls shot whenever we go to that map just to have a, a live jungle footage. Hopefully it's not a dangerous one, like, but like, kind of like a, like a middle, <laughs> middle tier no, you jungle. You don't want to just be like, okay, and we are over. Like Push catch, a, a catch, catch like an animal in the distance, but like, you know, like you shouldn't get any closer. Like yeah. that would be awesome. <laughs> the, zoo. the zoo. Yeah, we need like a zoo I'm drone taking... shot for that. Well, in like in the habitat, right? Like you're like, okay, I'm just gonna run the drone through here, and yeah. that's exactly but not the, the amount of time. But not we the need. penguins. That would be the wrong the kind of wolf. you know. That'd be a good frozen guard or ice mine. It would be. Intro. <laughs> we could use the zoo for a lot. You know, wait, yeah, wait, why don't we just go to the zoo? Are we just thinking million dollar ideas here? Next week's console league canceled. We're all going HRS. to the zoo for some footage. New location in 2020. <laughs> we cast the in, zoo in the penguin exhibit. We're all just sitting there, just like, all right, well, we're we're on ice mines this time around, guys. Guys, and uh, who I hope things sure do heat up. Also, think about it. Ice <laughs> mines. We get like you know, like some little you know. We make it feel like there's actually like snow falling Kinda and ice like in the whole you, booth Bob. and with the set. Like it changes based on the map. Now that would be awesome. Look and you know what we do? We get like the 4D <laughs> experience. <laughs> we add a mixer button that allows people to push it and Guys, like sit, like push snow on us and like gusts of wind and Warm stuff like that. Me that would be cool. I don't want to get abused. I know, it'd be funny to and do That's going to be though. what happens. Like people, like admittedly, game, just going to say, that's a good way die. to get a lot there of interactions no up. People would absolutely be <laughs> blasting the casters with snow and gusts. But hey, the drafts are done. Look at that. Victor, Ying, Khan, Saris, Ash for Viral, Sky, Genos, Barrick, Makoa, Leon for Radiant. Hmm. 
Which one do you like more? Well, we did see the sky succeed a lot, so let's uh, let's let's keep an eye on that one. I think Radiant definitely have the little bit of a, a an edge on this, so let's see if Viral can overturn that. They've got a good lineup as well. Excited to see this one go down. Well, we can go down to the casters to see how they feel about the drafts and how they feel about the potential of a snow button for Mixer blasting them in the face. I don't know. Thoughts? I am not excited at the potential of that happening. I am Woo! truly afraid of it. Woo! <laughs> See it over there. They're, they put it into play here. That's and why you uh, trust Hindu Man with your uh, with your last second showdown. Oh, number one, man. You number one. Love that across the board. What I was a, playing, what a guy. playing little brawl stars in there, but I was like, I gotta go cast this game. Gave it to Hindu. He just cops the number one finish for me, plus six trophies on the Piper. You Casual. Lo you love to see it. You do love to see it. You That's should be work. ashamed if you were the other players in that game. You take a break halfway through, change <laughs> players, and you still find a way. You still find a way to lose it. Double, uh, double Good hero. stuff here from Enduman. Love it. When he's not casting Smite, he's winning Brawl Stars. That's, That's what's right. important. Brawl Stars is second only to the PCL. PCL, that's right. In our hearts. Well, Radiant certainly have one of the better Sky players, I think, in the league. And hopefully, given the way that we've seen Sky run the table today in the one map she was selected, Scarcity can maybe do the same. And uh, I'm looking at... Duffman and Slayer. I mean, Saris and Yang. It's not the uh, hyper common two stack there. Scarcity on the sky. We saw the way that she performed uh, for uh, for excuse me Cyclone in our last set and really bringing out a lot of value. So hopefully more of the same here from the sky already. Big chunk of damage into the console. So they're starting off on the right foot. President Zing, you gotta remember when you destroy those clones, they still do explode for 500 damage. First Tough spot blood. for Sky to be, first blood. <laughs> the way that it goes this time, but 57% already grabbed by Barrick. He skates out with his life as well. Not a terrible way for the first fight to go. That's the, uh, the important thing to look at here, Radiant. They get on the point early, they're okay with giving up sort of the positioning after that first fight. Slaya actually finding the first kill with a little extra burst damage from the Ying here. Now they're the ones in control and the zone is in their favor as well. Sort of sniffing out this radiant rotation here. And that's going to be my thing to watch here is how, how does the Ying make an impact on this game? Obviously Saris will be doing plenty of damage, or healing, excuse me. But can Slaya sort of supplement that at the moment he is? He's looking good doing it. Yeah, definitely. Good opportunities here. Time Bomb comes out. Ying does have the movement speed to get around the corner. Scarcity picks up the return frag, finds two. Aiju helps shut that down. Victor a little bit late to the reaction time. A little bit of healing comes through on the objective, but Scarcity looking to run away with this Luminary Sky as if she didn't have enough damage already. Easy peasy for the Purple Lady. That's kind of the same thing we saw in our last set as well when, uh, when Scarcity or whoever it is playing on the sky is able to kind of just hang in the shadows, do a little bit of poking, and then the team opens the door up enough to get the eyes turned away from the sky. They're able just to sort of run rampant, and this is exactly what we saw. An illusory rift is going to get things started here for Viral, just try to keep them healthy. The Radiant are just going to back off. That's a pretty good convergence, though, to start things off. There it is. Another time bomb comes out, so plenty of damage. Double kill for Scarcity. Would have been an easy triple there, but she's not as concerned with the low HP targets that survive. That little time bomb moving off the zone here. Gonna make sure you use your time most effectively. Complete wipe here, viral. Not a chance to slow that fight down. Hopefully they can get their feet under them for one more defensive effort here before the payload rolls home. Yeah, but they invested so much into that. They still have the overpower, which could send a few flying, but the Enlightenment and the through time and space, that's gonna provide a lot of, I mean, you get a little bit of zoning, honestly, that's not really what's talked about with the Geno Soul. The overpower is gonna be good for one onto scarcity, though. Radiant have plenty of time if they wanna back off and just kinda of reset this, and it looks like that's what they might try to do. Scarcity dead, a lot of that damage, and that pressure falls off. Makoa dies as well in the backline dive, leaving only frontliner, support, and Leon to try and hold this fight down. 103 on the clock, still plenty of time to get it through. Ultimates to work with as well. Genos could just go for it through time and space, or he could land a Makoa hook, and Rank looks like he might be getting taken down here. Big juicy heal from Saris, though. Helps keep him standing for a little while longer. One more shot on him. Victor would have done the trick. Ooh. Target prioritization, that's the key here, folks. That was a really good answer, actually. So many low health bars on the side of Viral. Scarcity, though, that's what I talked about. He's able to find his way into the back line. He already has two in this one. 
He's looking to make it three on Duffman. He's able to get himself out and healthy right now, but it's only the two healers or damage dealer healer uh, sort of hybrid. He finds another kill, and now he's back around the backside of ranked. He goes down. This one should go through. And you, never, you never want to be on the wrong side of ranked, that's for sure. You don't. You don't. We've all been there. We have. And it's... Uh, happens quite frequently. Yeah, obviously, the 60k damage is kind of where the eye goes. 10, 2, and 4 on the sky. 3, 1, and 5 as well on the Makoa. And that's that's really just been the difference maker. The, the rest of Radiant have done such a good job of rotating around viral, getting it so Scarcity is able to make these rotations around the back side of the viral lineup. Well, and that's what you look for if you're playing a sky. You want to be able to get into the shadows, get yourself around the team do as much damage as possible, and it's worked out pretty well up to this point. Both teams have some ultimates ready as well. Five, four, Genos doing some good healing three, in this game two, over the, the Saris and the Ying as well. Slowly 730, though, for the, uh, for the con. <laughs> <laughs> and Cauterize 3 after just one round of play. That's a yeah, huge right. power spike for Scarcity. He might just yak that time one. bomb out there. It's like a little... One, no, the time bomb is Whoa. mitigated entirely by the battle shot, but it's Fluxy that steps up to the plate and knocks it out of the park. Swinging away here is Naiju with the Ancient Rage, just kind of chilling, just accepting his fate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Hanging his head, case. too. All right, I Boy, guess. Boy, what a sad scene. It is sad, and you hate to see it, but already 75, 78% here for Radiant. And it was an interesting team fight to watch in that it wasn't really scarcity that that made the big play. A lot of that time bomb was mitigated by the, the con shield that was put out in front. Instead, the through time and space comes up big, snipes out a few, and now Radiant, four streaked members, 18 streak on the Genos as well. We're going to get this one for it. Well, so far, Scarcity's only died to overpowers and uh, missteps getting out of position. So, so far, so good. We're going to lose him a couple of times. <laughs> that Ying clone shatters. <laughs> and slays the great turtle as he ragdolls and falls flat on his face. Two big boys' corpses over there, Khan and Makoa. Somebody's got to get over there and clean that up. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the big question here is how do you how do you get rid of scarcity on the sky when you don't, have, when you don't have an overpower, when you don't have the other ultimates? The time bomb's going to come through, not before scarcity is able to find one, though. Slay so answers back in a big way. Uh, for his team here, Viral able to stall things out, but the rest of Radiant, they're looking good as well. They might not even need Scarcity to get this one through. White Grip cancels out. Shoulder charge here. Meta trying to rotate out, but already such low HP. It's taken down. The Scarcity, I believe, is back yep. and available. Starting to put some poison bolts into people, blasting through that con shield as well. Time to take Rift is popped, but Cauterize 3 is on the board. Don't forget that for Sky. The shatters. A lot, of, a lot of pressure from these yeah. shatters. Yeah, you have to be careful. You, you see, I mean, Scarcity kind of looks down a few, but a couple times this game, the shatters have just done so much damage to the rest of Radiant and provides just enough pressure in this case to where they have to back off and regroup a little bit. Sheik now is going to be the one to start to take that damage rain away from Scarcity. The ranked is able to answer back. Just runs for Pete here on the clone shatter, clone shatter. Get some good ultimate charge off of the damage. 30 seconds on the clock. Sky opened up on somebody somewhere. No kills follow through just yet. Yeah, look at this. 55% on the next time bomb. Right Raining. in the back. Watching. I'd like to see her just stay up here, not really commit. Right. She has some support on her right side, too, that's allowing her just to hang off in this high ground, and that's making Viral just think about their positioning so specifically. A couple kills coming out now. Naiju with a couple. Sheik with one as well. The banner comes down just to buy some time, but that's going to be the last line of defense. And that's going to be Radiant going through with a clean 4 0. Looks down, drops one last spray. A little Kalinka dance from Barrack, and it's all a Sky story. We talked a little bit about this as a pick that was once extremely popular on console. Yeah. Falls out of favor. People forget how to play against it, forget about what it can bring to the table. And this is a slightly nerfed version of Sky. This isn't yeah. even the old damage potential that we were used to. And we'll have to get a look in the post-game stats, how many people went the Illuminate route. But that's really the big thing, is we yeah. saw Scarcity able just to kind of sit around the backside of Viral in that case. And that much pressure, well, that's sort of what won the game. Well, Sky definitely takes over in game number one. Let's get it back to the desk and hear their thoughts. Well, when it comes down to it, Sheik is really, really good at Leon. Uh, we learned from, well, if you watched the highlights the when highlights, we were talking about him. should have watched the highlights. If you are just maybe watching that entire game. And, of course, Scarcity on the Sky, well... 
two good things make, I guess, one good thing overall for Retaliation or for yeah. Radiant there. I think that's how it goes. That's the that's the same. That's the same. Two good things make one good thing for Radi uh, Radiant specifically. Well, that's added on. Well, you look at parents. I mean, make a two good. Things, I don't know. There's a, there's some kids baby. out there that make you question. Yeah, and you're right. There are some bad <laughs> seeds out there. That's true. So you have to you have to question that one. But overall, I mean, Radiant definitely showed us that they came to play today. And it, yeah, the big conversation, like it was when Sky was available in the last game, was Sky again here and scarcity taking the reins, doing a great job, 13 and four, a lot of pressure, and they have a lot of frontline pressure too with the Makoa five and two. But those seven assists, you know, that that's really impactful because. All of these little hits are really making things a lot easier for this guy to just clean up and keep snowballing. And admittedly, that's just that's the way we've seen Sky today, right? She's had two entire games, which is actually maybe a little low yeah. compared to what we used to see out of her. And both of those games have been a 4-0. Early on, it seemed like Viral might have been able to control the point, might have been able to do something, right. but they just weren't able to, I want to say, solidify themselves the way I think they wanted to. Scarcity and Sheik, and really when it comes down to a Naiju as well, locked them into a position where they just could not figure out how to deal with all the pressure. Yeah, and I think that's that's really what it's all about. You know, can you deal with it? I mean, Viral really haven't had any showing that they can, but I mean, what a great opportunity. It's a team that's doing well, a little better than them, but you still feel that there's an opportunity to maybe have something go their way. And maybe Frog Isle will open things up as well. Yeah. This is where things become maybe a little, I don't want to say more wonky, but you can flex around a lot more, right? We yeah. have things like the snipers. We actually had one come through earlier. We have, you know, Knessa, we have Strix that can work really well here, but you can also, well, I mean, if you're Sheik, probably just go back to your Leon, play that. Sky, this isn't a map that I think flanks, but if you want to run her, you can make her work. And I'm actually kind of surprised to see, I mean, Torvald, not too surprising. Vivian, not too surprising. Talus, mm -hmm. not surprising. But Radiant, of all people, are the ones that ban out the Leon. Yeah, I mean, Radiant here, knowing that it's just uh, something that works really well for them, and if they can take the victor, they'll take away something that they realize has a lot of potential. True. Um, so I think that works some ways in, in their regard. It also means that Khan is open, that they can get a victor, they can get a good front line. I mean, Atlas is open, Khan is open, Makoa is open. It really leaves a lot of threats on the board that can come back to them in the second pick phase. Genesis locked in with Tyra. So double damage amp here for Viral, which is a good way to burn down front lines of any kind, no matter who they pick up on the side of Radiant. But again, the range, I think, is where you're going to be looking at it. Who are they going to supplement with all that damage? Who are they going to give that to? Because you're going up against a Victor. You're going up against a Barrack. Barrack can shield off a lot of that damage. Sure. And Victor is going to kind of stay out of it for the most part. At right. least that's his goal at the end of the day. Ideally. I mean, if he's not, that's <laughs> I'm not sure, you know, maybe he just as uh, maybe having a slow day to wake up or something. But Victor Let's should be able to run out of that. Shouldn't be an issue for her uh, to get both of uh, the, the pressure moments, though, which is what she's looking for on that point start. And when that thing gets closer to the 80s to the 90 percentile where she could throw it on, even if you can escape, it buys her and her team some time. And they're running an aggressive composition here. So the Ash Makoa not as likely to be standing on the point in general. So what she's doing by throwing that firebomb on there it is basically saying, okay, neither are you, and you're playing our game off the point, which we're yeah. already building a lineup that succeeds off the point with the Ash and the Makoa. So I like the idea around it, um, but the Drogos here, it's going to be up to the tower to take it down, at least for now. One more pick to go. Saris comes in, and Saris, like, this has been kind of the topic, you know, Genos, then Maldamba, Ying, we've seen be yeah. successful, we've seen Grok be successful, but he doesn't normally get played oh. as a support. So Saris, filling that role, should be able to heal Drogos and the Victor. And Kinesa locked in at the very end for Viral, and they've shown that they can actually play a Kinesa pretty well. How do you feel about their lineup? I feel like uh, it's actually pretty good. I mean, Radiant, if they win this are just probably going to be out playing. Right now, Viral have a good lineup for holding, for creating the pressure. I don't see any way that reasonably, uh, without bad play, Radiant gets to that back line and see the Knesset. And they have two champions that can take Drogos out of the sky, so even if he decides to go Worm Jets, it's going to be a dangerous game to be playing, especially with a Luminary boost on the line. But Viral are looking to try and finally win a map here in the console league. Let's go down to Dave and Nick, see if they can do it. Win a map? What? We're talking about playoffs? I'm talking well. about winning a map. <laughs> <laughs> oh, combustible is the talent <laughs> choice here. Fairly standard stuff. Little Eagle Eye, and that's the second time today we've seen Kinesa pick up Eagle Eye here on console. Steady Aim tends to be the more popular choice on PC, so interesting to note the differences, if there are many. 
Eagle Eye is a really good player for Kanga. Yeah. Oh, no, Evil Eye. Oh. Got him. <laughs> He'll be here all week. The hyper meme train. Oh, God, oh. right. Hello. That's the matchup I want to watch this game. I mean, Viral's lineup, they have the damage amp, but it's really, are you able to get the Knessa into a favorable position where she's able just to kind of hang out in the back and pour out the damage because the range advantage is, is there, in my opinion. The Drogos is going to be the one to kind of counter that as well uh, as Makoa buying some space. And, and here's where it could get scary for Viral if they fall onto the back foot. Ooh. Uh, yeah. and start to lose these fights. Fire spits up over the top, more rockets to follow it up. Another fire spit comes off cooldown. It won't connect, but commanding the, the trees, the canopies, the leaves here. Scarcity dominating game number one with Sky. And now looking to continue that reign of terror here on Drogos. 78% lockdown zoning here. Team Viral all aboard the struggle bus. Yeah, and that's sort of that's sort of what I had my eyes on. If Viral are able to extend some of these fights and allow the damage amp to really get through without getting bursted down first, then they could kind of hang in some of these games. Instead, it's Radiant who finds the aggressive frontline play to push through that Viral frontline on the opposite side, and that frees them up just to put the zone down and find themselves point fight number one. Although now Knessa is sort of in a favorable spot where she's able just to kind of hang at base. Maybe fire out some shots here. Naiju, though, on the killing spree. It's going to help Radiant get this one pushed forward. Fire spread actually does come through and connects. A little bit of dot damage there. Salvo pushes Knessa back even further. So a good opportunity to talk about. Drogos has always been the on-paper hit scan counter, blah, 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 this yep. and that. But superior play, great shots, and uh, you know that type of outstanding performance on Drogos can most of the time make him overcome any type of on-paper matchup. And that's pretty much exactly what's happened up to this point. Radiant finds a couple, so the defense stalls out just for a moment unless kills are able to be answered back, and they are at the moment. Drogos and the Khan, each with one here. Three members defending. Still have the damage amp up on the map right now, but Radiant, four strong here. Sheik adds one. Slay able to stall things out. That's a pretty big stall here, I think. Uh, kills really started rolling in Radiant's favor. I think that one could have gone through. Radiant have a pretty deadly little suite of ultimates here. Shots from Knessa looking to land. One of them will. But Scarcity at a pretty low HP. Slay the first one to grab a kill in this engagement. 56 seconds on the clock. Headhunter was burned. Through time and space was burned. So if Radiant Esports can get their feet under them, they'll be in a pretty good spot, I think, to get this offense rolling once more. Yeah, and that's, that's the big thing, I think, with this lineup. Really just the momentum. Sheik helps break down a little bit of that viral defense. A double now for him. And this is sort of where you see that momentum start to roll. They have a lineup where you find a couple kills, you find a little bit of an advantage. They can squeeze just a little bit extra out of you. The Ancient Rage is going to buy some time, but it's just going to get some response through. Hook lands on a Victor as well. Plenty of damage put out there from Yumeta, but somebody else has to find the rest of it. Overpower comes through. Despite losing a couple early on in that fight, Tyra making herself pretty vulnerable here. Khan rotates down, gets the double kill, shield and shout as he backs up. To heal up, take new positioning, and maybe push this one through. Ash was down there stalling out. Makoa's re-rotated in. Remember, Ancient Rage is down. Ash is dead. Makoa, not long for this world. This payload might find its way home sooner rather than later. Just throwing up the wall, trying to defend with the aggressive frontline play and the good healing coming in from the back line. Opens up Radiant for a little bit of aggression. Tully's going to be the last line of defense here, and in it goes, 2-0. to zero. And a lot of it, I really do think, is... I mean, Naiju, of course, at 8-1, and one, he's really commanding the front line, uh, which opens up Scarcity and Sheik to just be able to fly around uh, and poke around with the Victor, with the Drogos, and making life hard. If you're on the Knessa, you really have to be able to stand back without too much fear the damage coming into your face, and unfortunately, that's not been the case just yet for Viral. Sheik sort of taking things over here. Yeah, Scarcity and Sheik have looked like a pretty dangerous duo, but you're right, Naiju. Sitting just under top damage here at the 8 and 1. He's certainly a massive talking point here. Has a pretty decent matchup against Ash, pretty yeah. decent matchup against Makoa. Three, Being able to throw up that shield, Makoa has no way to sort of peel it away from him or, or knock that cooldown like worth. Fernando, you can shell spin behind him, hit the hook, and he'll drop the shield. It's like a 15 second cooldown, but Khan's shield is not cooldown based. It's all about charging that resource and keeping the batteries charged, so to speak. And he's done a good job of it. Both of the frontliners for Radiant coming into this round uh, with 
the streak under their belt. Through time and space is going to go oh. a little bit wide, but the barrage is good for one onto rank, and that's so much range that's now no. off. Oh, gets blasted off there by the flame spit. Scarcity good for one. Uh, that is a nice little kill to grab there. Naiju continues the reign of dominance here. Slaya finds the return kill, but he will be claimed by Naiju as well as the Iron March continues here for the Scion of House Iko. He moves to the back line to start zoning people out. Shield goes up. He's happy to take that one on the chin. Dismount on a Makoa. I'm sure we'll be coming through here shortly. 96%. Last couple of ticks. Radiant Esports continue to rock and roll here at 4-0. Looking pretty likely on Frog Isle and a missed overpower. A rare misstep. Yeah, I was going to say, that's pretty much the only time we've seen Naiju have a bit of a misstep in this game. He gets the mine with the Dragon Punch. So, Oh, wait, no, he got Slay as well. I saw something come in. I thought it was... The mine from Ranked. Ranked answers back with the kill, though, so one for one. Boy, wouldn't that be an wouldn't, outplay? Wouldn't that be? You could throw the oppressor mine in front of Drogos right. and he punches it. That I mean, technically, been. I don't see why not. I guess technically, yeah, you can punch a Yin clone. You, right, you, you, you can punch a Yin clone. You, you can, can punch, punch, punch an ball. oppressor mine. You can punch a dodgeball. Right, that's, that's <laughs> sort of the that's the way to look at it. Naiju, his aggressive frontline play. And it's time after time opening up the door here for Radiant. Unfortunately, falls for his troubles here in this case. I think. Viral Ooh. have some ultimates. Oh, that's Ooh. really good combo there. Ooh. Right into the barrage goes the conversions and Sheik and the Saras combined for a nice triple kill there. Got to imagine this one's going to roll through. Radiant, well. That'll cool. do, Pig. That'll do. That's, that'll do. That's all you got to say about that one. That'll do. Yes, sir. Time bomb into convergence, barrage into these convergence. Convergence is, is really the setup and the, and the thing you have to thank. Sponsored by Saras here, that play. Puts the foot down and ends the round, ends the game. 2-0 lead for the boys now. We'll head it back up to the desk to keep this set moving. Well, surprise, surprise, they take another 4-0 here. Radiant are looking really good. And I mean, we had kind of discussed it at the end of the last picks and bans. It looks like a good draft for Viral, and it just came down to which team is going to be mechanically better at that point. And yeah. Radiant won. That's the issue here because, you know, you even started off pretty nicely with a headshot, right? I mean, things look pretty good there for Viral and Ranked but they just can't do it over the course of uh, the, the match. And that's that's really where I, I start to worry about this lineup. And I start to worry about looking too heavily into drafts, uh, too heavily into the specifics, because you do have moments. And, and with teams who are at this level right now, where they are just playing better than their yeah. opponents. It's really hard to go into some of the specifics when that's not really coming uh, into a factor here. And one of the things we saw there, I mean, 7.5 KDA here for Naiju, but also the fact that between him and Sheik, once again, mm. being able to go, I think, both 12 and 2, it's just they're strong. And that's probably one of the strongest factors Absolutely. they have going for him. Sheik has had nothing but consistent games and consistent performances. And so Radiant, at this point, they have four, maybe five pillars in their team. Yeah. Whereas you can see Viral still maybe trying to construct the foundation for what they need to build on over there. They have yet to win a map overall, so we're going to go to map three. This is going to be their pick as well. I believe Jaguar Falls was their first pick, so they're going to Fish Market, which is a little more out there in terms of maps and yeah. in terms of, honestly, anyone who plays it. And I want to, I want to be very frank about the situation with Viral. I mean, they're desperate because there's no way they can even... I mean, it's almost not even desperate anymore because there's no way they can qualify. They really don't have anything to play for as far as uh, the carrot at the end of the stick for yeah. the middle of the season land. So, yeah, I mean, they're losing, but what's the impetus for them to be better, to perform at a high level in this set particularly against a team that also is probably not going? Like, no, none except coming. internal self-motivation. Mm -hmm. So as a, you know, I think as an advice, I'd love to see them continue to improve, try things out. But, you know, these four O's, they're not surprising me at all. I don't think that because of the low stakes in this game, um, this is going to be very, very contested. Well, I can say coming into this, they've actually only ever played on four maps this entire time. So coming into today, they've played Bright Marsh, they okay. played Frog Isle, they played Jag Falls, and they played Stone Keep. Well, new map. They have never won on any of those, so at Yikes. least this is moving you in a new direction, right? This is like, yeah. the, okay, well, let's go to Fish Market, <laughs> see what happens. Unfortunately, uh, I was actually looking at the wrong stats. Well, maybe fortunately, Radiant have yeah. only ever lost on this map, so yep. it was only one time against Bust Down, so maybe that doesn't actually mean anything, but you get something fresh for the team and maybe to try and kind of control Radiant. This is also one of the few maps where... 
We've talked about it in the past. Draft can matter, but you, you do not draft this map like you draft stranger. any other map. No. Fish Market is, is kind I think of there no were, I land. think the guys from um, NIP were calling it qu quarters. The next like, time you see my like banners, four. Run. Like, they were trying to be like four DPS. They had a name for it. Like, you know how yeah. goats have this name of like three tanks, three supports, and there's triple tank. I feel like they were calling four DPS it's quarters. Maybe it's something else. Ball. Maybe I misheard. It was a, you know, a European accent, so I wasn't sure. But yeah, I think that idea of drafting four DPS is really strong Your on Fish Market. Yeah. In. I just don't think a lot of teams, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm again, being frank, care at this point. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, to go that level, there, you know, that's a high level strategy. Oh, trying yeah. to pull it out on a big game, I, I don't think it's going to matter. Here. And it comes down to it, like you also have to look at where you can get it. Like, I mean, this time around, Radiant get double damage amp. Like, I'd love to have Genos and maybe a tank yeah. on the same side to be able to come through. So they're going to go kind of a triple DPS. Grok is going to fit that kind of middle ground where he can supplement the healing from Genos and supplement the damage from the uh, from the rest. I will say, I like the Imani here a lot. I like the Khan, the Vit, like all of these champs. I actually really like the triple tank from Viral though. We've seen that actually be successful, kind of. It's a lot of pressure, it's a lot of, you know, damage, and it's a lot of health, so they'll have wiggle room. If they can get this dragon really popping off, the, the zone potential on Fish Market is cool. Let's hope Viral can start off Fish Market in a good way. Well, they don't have any support. They've gone triple frontline, no support, so let's see how that works out for Viral as they go for their first stroll into Fish Market. I think it's going to fall flat on its face. I agree. You need healing. All right, there you go. <laughs> a lot of what makes the triple front line, you, you got this big, you got this big gas tank, right? Right. You're driving your diesel dually. 2019 motor truck, motor trends truck of the year, the Dodge Ram. Tailgating someone almost certainly. Yes. Because when you have a dually, you have to tailgate. What's the point of this large gas tank if you, if you have no gas stations around you? Last gas station for 100 miles. You want to bring three 2019 motor trend truck of the year Dodge Ram duallys. It's eight miles per gallon on that road with you, no way to fill them up. That's yeah. my problem with this comp. I mean, it's a, I mean, I guess you can't count it out until you see it play, but you need healing to win the game. So, have battle shout. That's true. <laughs> we saw, we saw Khan with like 740 damage on that uh, I mean, Jaguar healing? Falls game. Or healing, yeah, excuse me, on the, on the Jaguar Falls game, so. Well, a couple people from Team Viral yet to leave the spawn. As we get geared up for what could be the most competitive game of Paladins this world has ever seen. Happy to bring this one to you on a Monday. Yeah, all right. Well, they're not leaving the spawn. Looks like Radiant's going to run away with this one. How do you feel about, uh, I mean, F Fish Market's a pretty exciting map. You hate to see it. You hate to see the, uh, the spawn chilling, but that's all right. I mean, it tends to happen. Radiant. Outclassing, can't even leave the spawn. So scared to come out, uh, come out and go toe to toe here with uh, Radiant. Yeah, Nigel gets a nice little triple kill for himself. Could you off. see a free farm hexa kill? That's Maybe. what I want to see. Just poke your head out of the base. Show us a hexa kill for the first time uh, in the console week. I feel like, I don't know. I feel, maybe there's been a couple hex kills in competitive right, play. I should say this season. In times past, but yeah. I don't know about on console period. I don't even know if PC, minor league, doesn't matter. Hex kills are extremely rare because of all the context of that situation. It's not just about getting the six kills. It's a five on five game. You need to have somebody respawning that you've already killed. The multi-kill timer in Paladins is extremely short. So all that coming in. I guess effect. that's true. Yeah. I don't think that's possible. I guess it's not entirely possible. And yeah. So these guys not really uh, showing us a whole lot here, guys. We're going to go ahead and, and not waste your time any longer. Rating Esports, push that one through. If, if they're not coming to compete, we won't waste your time showing that one. That's going to do it for this set. Uh, we'll get it back up to the desk shortly. But uh, apart from that, there were some definitely great yeah. moments, I think, being able to, to showcase not only the sky, scarcity running a Jorogos looking right. very good into despite a double hit scan threat on paper. We talked about how superior play can just overcome sometimes those paper matchups. I think that's exactly what it is. Radiant showed up today. They yeah. played their compositions really well. Had some interesting champions in there. Uh, come out with a 3-0. All right, guys. Sorry about that one. We're going to get bit, get it up to the desk and uh, keep things moving for our final set of the PCL. Well, oof. Overall, I guess I can say, hey, 3-0 for Radiant. That's uh, where I'm going with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, gonna waste our time. We're not gonna waste the viewers' time. That's not yeah. like that. And, like I'm just gonna say it outright. That's not worth watching for anybody. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> there, there's nothing to it's be It's not, from but we that. didn't need to tell you guys that, right? But, you know, hey. I, I just want to Everyone has sure, a moment. Uh, here's you, you know what, here's what I'll say. Too. Here's what I'll say. You know, you never know what your moment is. You never know what people remember you for. You never know what gets you out. And so if you sometimes set yourself up to have anything be that moment, this could be what people look at you and say, oh, those guys that blah, blah, blah. I'd advise not to do that in the future in your life in any circumstance, because that could be very bad if people think of you that way. But yeah, it's the PCL, but we're definitely going to focus on the teams that are coming here. Despite the fact that you haven't qualified, it's probably because of stuff like this. That is a... Uh, yeah, well, either way, we do have one more set that's going to be coming in after this one. If I switch over to where my schedule, it's going to be Onslaught and Big Money playing up against each other. And this is actually probably one of the more interesting matchups for me specifically. Mm -hmm. Onslaught has well been on the rise as of late, but Big Money looked pretty damn good the last time they played. I believe it was against Heating Up. I can't remember if it was a 3-1 or not, but I know they looked pretty solid being able to at least keep them on their toes the entire time. So that's going to be the one that we have coming up just after this, guys. But we are going to kick it to a quick break, come back with the last set of the day just after this. Brought to you by Skillshot, Hi-Rez Studios, Evil Mojo, INAP, SteelSeries, Respawn. 